How to make an Instagram puzzle feed with Canva step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can create a Instagram puzzle feed. So whenever you open up a feed and you see six or nine images that are laid out very correctly to form a very large puzzle, you always wonder how people can do that. Well, it's very simple and very easy. You don't have to download any third party applications because I see a lot of people are recommending those, but we can do this easily with Canva. So let's get into it. Now, to begin creating that, first off, just to help you guys in understanding, a Instagram post is 1080p by 1080p. It's a perfect square. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply 1080p multiplied by 3, that is 3240. Now, if you take a perfect square of any size on Canva, you can do it. The reason why I'm doing this is to keep a very high resolution of all the images. So this is to maintain the resolution, make sure that each individual Instagram post is going to be super high resolution. So that is why I am going to take 3240. Now I'm going to head on over to canva.com. I'm going to click on the right side of my screen. It says custom size. And yeah, so we have 3240 and that is it. So we're just going to create the canvas over here. Now in this canvas, what we're going to do is we can click on file on the top left over here. Once you click on file, you can click on viewer settings. In viewer settings, you're going to click on show rulers and guides. Now, I'm going to close this element section. I'm going to zoom this in. So what this allows you to do is you can see rulers and guides. And what you're just going to do is you're going to zoom in quite a bit and you are just going to scroll to the top. Now, what you can do is we have this little section going horizontally and vertically. So what you're going to do is just place your rulers. So first off, we want it to be at 1080. So we want it to be at exactly 1080, like so. Once you place one of those, you're just going to place the second one. And we're just going to move down and if i am doing the math correctly so i'm just going to take the total resolution and minus 1080p the next ruler i want to place it would be at 2160 to be very precise so 2160 now if i zoom out and show you guys this is going to be very perfect in size now after you've placed them uh, horizontally you're going to do the same thing vertically as well so we're just going to go on from here and you guys can see it's going to be first the first one I'm going to place at exactly. And if it's not showing you very accurately, so if you're not getting the exact number, just zoom in a little more. And now you're going to get all the numbers that you need. Now the next one is going to be placed at 1000, uh, 2160. So I'm just going to do the same thing like so so now i have the perfect grid arranged for me now you can begin uploading the puzzles so you can upload you know whatever image you want you can even use canva to design them if you click on your design section we have maybe i'm just going to search for instagram and you can see you have multiple different options there are quite a lot of images you can pick from you can even search for instagram puzzle so we have a bunch of different options let's say i want to use this one and this is actually like a connecting one. If you want to use a connecting one, that is totally up to you. But uh, if you want to use something that is different, uh, that is totally up to you as well. A connecting one is going to be, you know, very visually appealing in terms of appearing when it's viewed up front. But if you take a template more so like this one over here, and what you're going to do is once you open up the template, you can just select it, select the like entire thing. Whatever it is, you're going to resize it and you're going to resize the backgrounds and all that. And I haven't, you know, uploaded any of my own images. You're actually going to be adding your own images, but I'm just using Canva images. So that's why it's a little awkward, but I'm just going to resize these. Place one in each individual square. Now, I'm just going to do this with images. So it's a lot easier for you guys to understand. I'm just going to take a couple of images that I have. And I'll show you guys how you can take basic images and convert them into more 
uh, you know, puzzle oriented images by adding some elements from Canva. So I'm just going to speed this process up because it's going to be a lot boring if you guys just see me adding images. Now I've added all my images and what you can do to spice up your puzzle, obviously if you have created your own images prior, you probably have created the puzzle, you know how they're all connected. If it's one large image, you can also use that. But you can also go on ahead, go into the element section or even go into the design section and just take a search for Instagram. And you will get multiple different templates where you can insert your images so it looks a little interconnected. But what I like to add is I like to go into the element section, search for bees, and I like to go into the graphics, you know, whatever you want, whatever uh, fits the aesthetic of your business, you're going to choose that. But I like to take a simple graphic like this one, convert it into full white, and I just like to, you know, make it hover around so it's not really directed into one image, but it's placed in between images. So it's leading from one image to another. You can also add things such as, you can just search for decor, and you can just add some of these lines and images to further enhance the image. So let's say I have something like this. I would have added it into the uh, end borders over here. We have, uh, you know, these little splash sections, which you often uh, probably see on Instagram on a lot of businesses. But uh, I'm just going to change the color a little and I'm going to take it in a pink color. I'm going to place it like so. So it serves both, you know, as a decor for one, but, you know, multiple different images like this. You can also take floral bunches. You have things like this. So where you can enter, you know, ribbons on top. I don't like that aesthetic for the kind of posts we are building. You can also display your sales text and all that kind of text on a little cute, interesting blotches like this. And once you have created your puzzle, you're simply going to click on share and click on download. And you can download this as a JPEG, PNG, PDF, whatever you want. We're going to continue on with PNG. And that is all you have to do. But you might be wondering, hey, I just created a very large image, but how can I make this into a puzzle? I need nine separate posts. Well, don't worry. You're just going to save this. Once you have saved it, you're going to go into pinetools.com so on pinetools.com you're going to click on split image online and you are just going to click on your file you're going to upload your image over here then below that you're going to click on the right side of your screen you're going to click on grid and then you're going to click on the quantity of blocks three and the quantity of blocks by three and you're not going to overlap them we want them to be equal width and then on the bottom you have image quality we're just going to speed this to 100 and you're just going to click on split image it was you know in just a couple of seconds our images have been downloaded now it's going to say row one column one row two column two so make sure you're organizing your images so we have all of these images you're just going to download them now if i go into my downloads over here you guys can see this is our first image our second image our third one fourth one fifth one so on and so forth to complete the downloads but uh, if you get confused you can just label them one two three so it's made sure that you have organized them and then you can upload them onto your instagram account so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video